It's arguably one of the most unusual characters in college sports. But something you might not know, Wushok's creator was never paid for his design. And as far as history can tell, he never asked for anything in return. But the creator's son still believes the university owes his family something for the character he helped make famous. It's a story that's new at 10. At first, we had things on the floor. Forget and, man cave. And then it started from the floor and it went to the ceiling. Fred Brooks has turned his basement into a full-blown shocker cave. And the last count I had was we had about 5,000 shocker things. Plus a few thousand more items packed away in boxes. Brooks is what you'd call a Wichita State super fan. All of this stuff is special to me. and. And uh, I have friends, they call this the Wichita State Museum. Some pieces date back more than a century. I think that's, that's 1901. He even has a copy of the school's first Parnassus. 1902. It's hard for Fred to pick a favorite piece of WSU history, but two posters that blend into the sea of black and gold stand out to him. That's because they came directly from Wushok's creator, Wilbur Elsia. He was a special guy, and uh, he, he, uh, he's special to a lot of Wushok fans. It was a, a source of great pride for me and my siblings. Today, Wilbur's son, Matt Elsia, still boasts about his dad's Wushok design and the story behind it. And he was a member of a fraternity there. The fraternity held a competition, asking students to design a mascot for the university, which up to that point used a nameless, faceless shock of wheat. So he kind of personified the shock of wheat, and the result was our Wushok. That story can be found on Wichita State's website in a section called the History of Wushok. But you won't find any mention of what Wilbur got in return for his winning design. I asked him a lot of times, what did you get for that? And he said, absolutely nothing. Something that never sat well with Matt. He says his dad just wasn't a confrontational person. I pestered him a lot uh, about why he didn't pursue this because I didn't. It's a matter of principle in my mind, and I thought he should. He says that's why Wilbur passed on all creative rights to Wushok to him when he died in 2014. But there was one condition. I don't care what you do with it, but wait till after I'm gone to do it. In 2015, a judge made it official, granting Matt the property rights to Wilbur's Wushok. From there, Matt hired an attorney to get in touch with Wichita State. And what were you hoping for when you contacted them? I really didn't know. Uh, I thought maybe there would be some uh, compensation, but I did not know. In a series of letters between Matt's attorney and WSU, the school says his dad did not own the rights to Wushok when he died, so the image belongs to the university. The school adds it feels like an attempt to extort money from Wichita State. I never mentioned money. I do realize, though, that in my mind there was a uh, potential atonement. I, I just wanted to know the facts. Another strike against Matt, the law when his dad created Wushok. It says if the work is published without a copyright, it becomes public domain and loses copyright copyright protection. In other words, it's just too late. I'm assuming uh, that actually the university is probably correct and that it falls under the law that existed at that time. Matt points out this doesn't change his allegiance to the university. Our whole family bleed black and gold. We've rooted for the shockers. You got to when your dad made the mascot. Matt says there's no legal action to pursue at this point and understands he may have to settle for recognition as opposed to compensation. He says he just wants people to know the full story of the man behind the mascot. I don't think that's fair. Uh, if somebody wants to label me as being greedy, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but the one thing that I am doing is telling the truth. I contacted Wichita State about this story last month. The university responded, saying we remain grateful to the late Wilbur Elsia for his contribution as a student to the evolution of Wu. From the first known image more than 100 years ago until today, our mascot has brought joy to our students and fans.